All right, we're doing a two video. I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna stay here. I put my makeup on Uba and she looks ashy. All right, oops. As my best friend, I've spoken about her in previous um, YouTube videos. I have. You don't know what I'm I do, I do, I do. I called you a Virgo. Yeah, you can. I called you a Libra. <laughs> okay, guys. So this chick introduced me to rice water, and can we see your hair? No. Uba, <laughs> tell them the joke that you've always told me about rice water. I'm like such a midget. Can you bend your knees? <laughs> bend. <laughs> Good job. Ah, okay. now we can see. Woo! Okay, Uba, show them your hair. So my hair was very short okay. and not full at all. All right. And, and then I start using rice water. But no, tell them about your hair. Tell them the dilemma you've always had with your hair throughout your life. Why don't you remind me? <laughs> no, about how God loves you so much. Oh, yeah, yeah. I always say, you know, I don't have a lot of long hair, but God gave me everything from the toe, the head, the butt, like look at this butt. Look, <laughs> look at the tits. Oh my god, Uba! It's true. Oh I my. have everything. Nice smile, good heart, like everything. I think when God died. So here, for the for your reference, Uba is a model and um, she's had some very big campaigns throughout her life. As you could tell, she cannot help herself, but she keeps <laughs> posing every two minutes. And her joke has always been that God loves her so much, he spent so much time. On her feet, her legs, her butt, her body, her face was the masterpiece, and then he gave up when it came to her hair. No, I think he would have been too much. Okay, it would have been, it would have been too it, much. It would I like you know. So I, I'm glad the hair is good, but I just learned about the rice water. So, so tell tell them about rice water. So I heard in rice you. water they use in China. They have this woman that they have really long hair. And apparently it has some sort of like amino something mm -hmm. that it, it makes your hair doesn't break. Okay, so I will go through the science of the rice water in a separate part of this video. Yeah. But I think I thought it would be fun to put Uba on the spot <laughs> after I messed up her makeup. Yeah, I had such a beautiful makeup today and then we're not going to sit and run what? Just don't worry about I, it. I ended up <laughs> using my SPF moisturizer on her. Um, not the right shade. So what I was going to say is I want to go through our, it's a little cooking show about show. how to make your own rice water to prepare. and how to prepare it. So here's the deal. Ooh. Yeah. I have come up with a new system. I think you're brilliant. This is the definition of clean beauty. If there ever was one and I am not a, um, spokesperson or a poster child for clean beauty but if there is any diy it is this and an egg white face mask which we'll talk about some other day the reason this is why all clean beauty is because honestly there is nothing in this except for rice and water and you can actually then reuse the rice to cook it and not waste it and actually eat it and use the water for your hair or your skin and so, it works you like it i definitely works I will say from my experience and from my reading, you soak the water at room temperature for 12 to 24 hours, and then you use that rice and you cook it ASAP, and then you can use the water for your so hair. This is what I am suggesting because I swear to God, I'm not I a coffee. I think you're brilliant. Thanks. This is why, <laughs> that's why I keep her. You are, I know. But the truth is, I thought you needed it for coffee. No, I don't drink coffee. So I drink coffee like now because, since I've had the babies, but once a day max. I bought a French press. I literally went and bought a French press because I think this is the only reason why you need a French press to soak your water in because with a French press, you'll put the rice in over here, you'll let it soak with the water, and once you're done, you can squeeze the rice all the way down, pour the water out into any kind of container that you're gonna wanna use in the shower, and then the rice would have been completely drained, and then you can go ahead and cook your rice separately. So you're brilliant. Merci. Yeah. Merci. I use a mason jar. The what? Mason jar. <laughs> and tell them that the, the basmati long grain is better than me. All right. It's better. You can tell them they're right there. Okay, so we're gonna use <laughs> you making me snort. 
Oh my freaking Lord. Okay, white rice. White as white as I am, okay? We don't want brown rice. We want white rice because I'm the starchy rice and Uba is clearly the long, the and, more like, the long yeah. and lean, okay? You want the punch. Because you want starch. You want the starch. So we're gonna use starchy rice. And you're gonna put what? Oh, like well, a little, 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 hold on, I can't. Okay, I know, but it's higher than my boob. Your boob is high, <laughs> the size of my head. I'm gonna put like approximately, I'd say, half what, a cup. That's, that's perfect. Half this a cup. Perfect. Half a cup of rice, okay? And I'm gonna cook this tomorrow night. So we'll have some rice for dinner. Yeah. But before I actually fully put it in here, I'm gonna get myself a. What is this called? It's a drainer. A strainer. A drainer. And we're just gonna clean the rice one time. Can I show you? Just to get any kind of, you know, excess, excess like, like bugs or little kind of dirt off the rice, okay? You always have to wash your rice before you cook it anyway. Spoken like a true Middle Easterner, okay? I gotta tell you, this 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 French press thing. Is I brilliant. know. Then we're gonna put. Yeah. We don't have to measure it, okay? Yeah. Like you can almost. Put water here. <laughs> Sorry, my orchid died. We're going to put like she, she two cups of water. What did you say about orchid? Let's go high maintenance, like you. Okay. I think that's a problem. Yeah. More. More? Yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay. Yeah. So. So and maybe two cups. Once we've put the rice in here, as you can see, it's clearly still cloudy. I did not completely clear it because I know when in certain cultures, in Lebanon, for example, in Persian cultures, they say to like really make sure that you're draining the rice so the water comes out clear. We're not draining it or cleaning it so the we're water because we want that starchy water. And basically, our French press is just going to sit like this. When I am completely done, I'm going to push down to separate the rice Shri, from it. I'm, I'm gonna say this again and again and again. I can't believe you came up with this and I didn't. Cause you know I'm really quick. I like to make you think, you know that. Listen, if there's one thing in this world, it's your friend Shireen is scrappy. Okay, you, this I'm crazy. gonna leave this at room temperature. I don't care for cold rice water on my hair. Do you put okay. it in the fridge? No, I, I do, I do. Once you ferment it, Look at that. cause you can use this for like a week. You know, you once you ferment this, yeah, you put it in a fridge, in a mason jar, whatever, in a glass thing, uh -huh. and then you you can just use a little bit of that and mix with the regular water. But hold on, you have when to dilute you say, it. When you say ferment, yeah, you're saying when you leave this for twenty four hours in here, yeah, it's gonna ferment. Okay, but don't push the rice. Okay, yeah. but it's gonna it's gonna ferment. Okay, then you drain it. You put it in a fridge. Okay, so she's saying. So Uba has a technique which I haven't done and I have my own technique. What I do is I let this sit and then once a week I do this, not more and we'll talk about that in a minute. Over 24 hours I let it sit. Then tomorrow night I'm going to take this water and put it on my scalp, on the tips of my hair. I even wash my face a little bit with it, I'm not going to lie, I do think it has some brightening effects. Then that's going to be Wednesday night. Thursday morning, I will wash my hair in the morning and use any residual water that's left on the tips of my ponytail. And I do this once a week. I wash my hair on average two to maybe three times a week. Okay, at most. Mm -hmm. How many times do you wash your hair? Maybe the same. Two same? Three times. Yeah. At most 24 hours because I don't want to waste the rice and throw it out. And you can soak rice for up to 24 hours before you have to cook it, before it goes bad. So it is now... 9 p.m. on Tuesday night. Tomorrow night, around 8 p.m., I will drain this. I will keep the water in a separate jar. I will put the rice aside and cook it for dinner. And then I will use the water on my scalp and the tips of my ponytail, and I'll use a little bit left on my face. Now then, Thursday morning is when I'm gonna wash my hair in the morning. So when I wake up, I will show you guys all of this and do a timestamp so you see what day it is. My hair will be a little bit frizzier and curlier. I quite frankly really like, <laughs> like the the fuzz. I like the curls that I get from the rice water. I'm not gonna lie. It's actually, I think, um, wild and nice. And it's like um, very dent. It's like, yeah, it's like, pff, you know? Um, and then I'm gonna wash my hair with regular shampoo conditioner. If I have extra leftover, which I will, I will use a little bit towards like the tips of my hair just to give it an extra fluff. And that's how I use this. 
I don't keep the water because A, there are no preservatives in it. B, I don't know what else is going to be growing in this stagnant water over time. That's why we leave it in the fridge. You can definitely then put it in the fridge. Good point. I don't care to use cold water and because I use it all on my hair and my scalp and my face and I do this once a week and I end up cooking the rice, I don't feel like I'm wasting anything. I completely, that makes sense. So, yeah. So if you are somebody out there, i.e. Gwyneth Paltrow, who is scared of any sort of toxic chemical, this is the most non-toxic at-home solution you can do. And the reason I usually roll my eyes for like do-it-yourselves at home like skincare is because you're wasting so much shit that you can actually ingest. Here, you're wasting nothing because you're gonna actually ingest what you're using the rice for. Yeah, and it works. Ladies and gentlemen, this works. Now the big issue is we can't do it that often. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because so Uga did, yeah, what happened? It did and it, it made my hair fr freezy. Like, like I could see the difference. Did you feel like you had hair breakage? Not breakage. This, the end of my hair, it became really tough because mm -hmm. it, it has a lot of... So we will talk about that in a separate part of this video or next video, depending on how long this video is. But um, we will get to it and I'll explain to you why that happens. Um, but yeah, get yourself a French press or a rice press. That's so and um, honestly, it's... I'm actually nice. jealous you came up with it and I didn't. All right, I will show you guys tomorrow step two of our rice water hair cleanse. If Uba wants to join, she can come. But I'm not I... gonna sleep over, so. Mm, okay. You see, she's posing again. <laughs> All, right. All right. I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right. Happy. What day is it today? Wednesday night. Um, had a crazy day at work. Ignore my dead orchids and my dead flowers. So I came back home. Um, finally put my PJs on, and I am going to now press the rice water um, in order to really get all the good stuff out and i'm going to put this on my hair tonight and let it basically sit in my hair um, let my hair soak overnight and i'm going to wash it tomorrow morning um, in order to get it all out i do do this with the french press to get the rice kind of moving it's i mean this you know, if Isaac Newton came up with his most genius thing in isolation, I think this is the, you know, <laughs> sad, sad reality of our generation. But this is my genius. Um, this is my genius discovery in uh, during this whole pandemic, and it's BPA free. <laughs> <laughs> but no, no joke. This is honestly, if you're going to do anything clean beauty, this is as clean as it freaking gets because not only am I going to then use this water, I'm going to actually be able to use the rice for cooking, which I'm going to actually cook for dinner. So I have my daughter's frozen container and I'm going to pour the rice water in here very, very, very beautifully. I still got some way to go. Oop. Um, there is a little bit left over here. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is because I'm in the kitchen and um, I'm, I don't, I'm doing this in the kitchen because my husband is working in the bedroom. I am going to show you guys how I ignore my, uh, the brush that I have in this apartment is a very old broken brush, so ignore it. This is not my Sheila Stotts brush that I left in uh, Connecticut, but brush my hair. And FYI, I have some water boiling on the stove because I'm going to cook the rice after we're done doing our little rice water soak. But I will use the extra one over here. Hold on, let's see. Let me get you guys. Over the sink, the lighting is just not as good over here. It's a little bit darker, but I'm gonna go ahead. This is literally how I do it in my bathroom usually. I have so much water because I was doing a demo for you guys and I didn't really do it as correctly. But usually what I'll do is 
because it's just easier to pour it from here and I don't have to hold the filter, you know. And I soak the ponytail. I know this sounds and seems crazy. Trust me, my family has judged. <laughs> but I kid you guys not when I tell you It does make a difference and I will actually use a little bit of the water on my skin because of the brightening properties so that water is boiling I'll take you guys back to the other side because the lighting is so much better over here. Um, you can actually see me. But just so you guys can see, once I have brushed through my hair, I'll sleep with a looser ponytail, and I'll just you know finish off the rest of the water. And I'll use this one because I'll save the rest of the shower for tomorrow. And that's it. So now, this is why I love this whole method because no joke, at this point, the rice in here has been completely washed and drained. And it's totally good for cooking. So happy dinner. Hair and dinner time. So if this is not the definition of clean beauty, I don't know what is, but when you can soak your rice, cook it, have it with your dinner, and grow your hair a little bit thicker and longer, then, I mean, this is, this is winning in life. So cheers, mm, so hot. Have a good night, and I will see you guys tomorrow morning after I wash my hair. I'm gonna shampoo, condition, and maybe soak a little bit left with some of the water that's left, uh, just for good measure, and dry my hair. Good night. Good morning. So, this is what it looks like, I'm telling you. It gives a nice beachy wave look, and my hair doesn't really feel like as dirty as yesterday, but, um, yeah. I'm gonna go jump in the shower, wash my hair and just put a little bit left on the tips and dry and show you guys. But um, yeah, interesting. Okay. All right, just washed my hair. I am going to just brush it lightly. Okay, and then what I'm going to do, everyone goes through periods in life, and I'm currently in a shedding stage. Okay, throw this in the trash, but I did lose more, double that in the shower. So I know I freak out about it. Try not to freak out about it is my point, and I'm going to follow my own advice. So then we have the rice water that I had left over last night. And my Elza, who had the thickest head of hair canister. And I'm going to, okay. We'll just put a little bit. I actually want to add a little bit just to kind of see when I dry it. Put some on the eyebrows. see what kind of oomph it gives but I usually I put it on the ponytail end so I'll dry it I'll brush one more time and then I'll go do my routine and get dressed and dry my hair actually air dry my hair hi I'll dry my hair air dry it then I'll go do my routine get dressed and then use the blow dryer because it's still cold outside and I have to go to work and voila and so I'll do this usually on Sunday night, Monday, and then I will reserve that day and night, basically, 
um, for the rice water. The rest of the week, I'm just kind of wash and go when I wash my hair Wednesday or Thursday. Again, I wash it two or three times a week. I don't do this each hair wash. It will dry your hair out, which can lead to breakage. So once a week now is what I do. And yeah, I'm going to show you guys once I'm drying it and how it looks. All right, so to save time, I did my makeup routine. I allowed my hair to air dry a little bit more, which I think does definitely help when you're hair drying it. Um, air and hair should not sound so similar. Um, and then I'm going to dry it now before I go to work, and I will show you guys the end results. But um, it's funny, even when it air dries, it just feels fluffier. I'm not sort of a middle part kind of person. I also think it emphasizes where you're losing the hair. So I do try to kind of cover it. Hi. Okay. And so this is how it dries. Boom, but a boom, boom, boom. I swear my hair just feels like so much more puffed and full and voluminous and soft and honestly soft. So yeah, there's no need to do any fancy gimmicks. There's no need to like complicate the matter. It's literally soak the rice overnight, use it the next night on your hair, go to sleep, wake up, shower. And then today I just added a little bit more to my scalp and my hair ends, and that is that. And I do this now once a week, and I've also been adding it to my eyebrows, as you guys saw, and my face very lightly. And yeah, that is the hair water trick. Mm -mm 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 -mm.